Well, hey there, hi there, ho there. It's morning. Bright, beautiful, shiny, shiny morning. We're spunky, we're happy. Can't really lie to you. At this point, we're almost like really good friends. And if I'm this spunky, you know it's not morning. But we haven't started our day yet. We just parked a little late last night. Which means, you gotta start a little bit later. Government tells me, 10 hours. You gotta park that truck, 10 hours driver. You're gonna go to jail if you don't. So, 10 hours truck's parked. We're ready to hit the road now though. We'll check the oil real quick. I already got the hood up. I got started earlier with this whole pre-trip thing. Without you, I know, I'm a horrible person. But I had to let yesterday's video finish downloading before I could start this new one. Oh guys, I'm trying so hard. Once again, yesterday's video, edited it up last night. I got done editing it and it was 28 minutes long. Now I think I'm just going to have to ask your guys' opinion on if you want long videos or short videos. Or 19 minute videos. Basically, do you want a 10 minute video, an 18 minute video, or like a 25 minute video? I can't guarantee the 25 minute video is every video because longer videos do require longer time to edit. But with everything going on right now in the world, all you hear about is well, what's going on in the world. And you're making a vlog and you don't want to make it all about what everybody else hears on the news. You want to make it about you, about what you're doing all day and little stuff like that. You don't, you don't want to become a news channel just preaching to you guys about what's on the news. <laughs> I got done editing yesterday's video and I uploaded it, got it all ready to go. I actually hit YouTube with it today at 11. I took it down at 11.05 because I realized that it's, that's just not going to work. My YouTube channel is not a negative channel and I was ranting I was ranting, I was I was not mad. I was upset with a few things. So <laughs> needless to say, two and a half, three hours worth of work editing yesterday, last night. Just threw that out the window. Started over this morning when I woke up, and now we're good to go. It's uploading to YouTube as we speak right now. So it's gonna be a little bit later and that's why. Um other than that, oh, real quick, all right, since we're on the chuckling kick this morning, oh yeah, don't forget, subscribe, like, the whole works, you guys know about it, and the Facebook, Trucking with Schmidt Vlogs, what else, oh yeah, and if you want a short video, long video, or longer videos, like, it's, it's time for a little input, let me know. All right, this, I got a question about that. What is that? Why are you wearing that? Guys, it's a sock. Yes, I cut a hole in a sock and I put it on my arm. I'm at a truck stop, so people do see me with it on, but let's face it, I kind of see worse out here. Now you want to know why in the world are you wearing a sock on your arm, Schmidt? All right. Behind the scenes a little bit, I have a huge tattoo, very offensive tattoo. I mean, it's rough guys, I mean, people would beat me up if they seen it. I tried lying to you again. I cover my arm up because I'm a picker. 
when I'm sitting here going down the road, I can't show you. Okay, I'm going like this. Next thing you know, my arm's bleeding. I don't like blood. I don't like it on my arm. So what I decided to do is cover it up with a sock. So now I can't pick it. And it's like, you know, when people bite their fingernails. Sorry, I had goulash for breakfast. When people bite their fingernails, or if they fidget a lot, it's no different than that other than I draw blood. Ew, that's some nasty stuff, man. But it's covered up. Weather's perfect, wind isn't blowing. I'm hoping to get you guys in some good scenery today before it gets dark, because we're starting later. If I don't get you in good scenery today, I promise I will on our way home. We're done. Let's get this day going and go drive a truck. <laughs> See you in a little bit. Well, hello. Well, we still have a long ways to go, but we are just about, probably about 15 miles from getting into the gorge. The gorge is a giant valley, basically. Big, big mountains, well, they're mountains to them. I guess I would call them hills. They're, they're the Great Smoky Mountains. Look them up if you don't know what the Great Smoky Mountains are. We're about 15 miles from there. So I wanted to get out, walk around the rest area a little bit, loosen the legs up, because once you get in it, it's zigzag, zigzag, zigzag for, I don't know, probably about 50 miles. And your glasses are dirty. See, we got, we got, ooh, there. we got to clean your glasses. They're getting kind of dirty. Guys, I don't know if I'm going to get through it or to the meat and potatoes of the gorge before it gets dark on us. But if I if I don't get you guys video of it today, we're going to come right back the same way when we're on our way home. So, I'll get it then. I promise. All right. Let's get your glasses cleaned up. I can't believe you guys let your glasses get that dirty. My God. Really? I guess. I'll clean them for you. Trying to debate if I want to take the covers off of my uh, Hilo lights. I don't think I'm gonna, because we're on Interstate 40 right now in North Car or in Tennessee, about to jump into North Carolina. Traffic is not going to slow down enough. Last night when we were finishing up yesterday's video, I was hoping that maybe this whole pandemic would slow the traffic down a little bit out here. It hasn't. It hasn't slowed it down at all. Nashville was pretty easy to get through. But Knoxville was swamped. 40's just been 
cars after cars after cars, so I'm not going to be able to use those lights anyway, so we're just going to keep them covered for right now. Well, this just looks so promising. Just once I'd like to go through the gorge and not run into a traffic incident. Well this minor delay is probably going to screw things up for you guys to get to, get to see the pure, pure beauty of the Smoky Mountains. Warden, my wife, Sarah, she loves it out here. Brought her out here on the motorcycle. Well, last year, yeah, brought her out here on the motorcycle with banker and interrogator. We came out here and we spent, God, I think we spent a week out here screwing around, riding through them. And it was all right, you know. It was, it was our first time out here on the motorcycle. And every time you go somewhere for your first time, it, it, it's interesting. You're learning a lot of new places to go. So the next time we come out, I think we'll be a little bit better. wonder where these mountains get their names right now we're on the top of Black Mountain Black Mountain is about a six mile drop if I remember right at about six percent grade three runaway ramps um, I'm not gonna really record anything going down it because it's all you guys would hear is the trucks Jake brakes all the way down it because it's pitch black out as you can see just got a call from Warden. She said her and the kids went for a drive around the West Hills. In Western Iowa, we have some of the prettiest roads and all that fun stuff to drive on that you can. It's called the West Hills. Sometimes, sometimes you get bored, look it up if you're not from this neck of the woods. There you go, got it. But yeah, we're going to let first last cool down a little bit here. It's not really a steep climb to get up to the top of Black Mountain when you're heading east. When you're heading west, it's a pretty good climb going up. But remember that antifreeze leak I told you guys about that I uh, thought I fixed? Well, I did fix it. Now my uh, radiator cap that I thought was good still and it wasn't leaking there it is leaking there so we gotta make one stop tomorrow we gotta stop and get a radiator cap throw it on here 
that should take care of everything leaking. But she's just running a little low on coolant, which is fine. I'm not really working it that hard. We have a light load. You see those stoplights right there? I'm hoping we can see a truck come in. Those stoplights are at the top of the mountain. They're designed for uh, basically a truck comes into them and they're gonna, they switch green rather quick, but a truck comes into them and it kind of just makes sure the truck's brakes work. I mean, where I'm at right now is not a full-blooded brake check. We're not in western part of America where the mountains are what I call real mountains. We're not out there. So what they do here is they just make sure your brakes work with those lights. And before I started recording, there was trucks coming in here like crazy stopping. And for some reason, I can't get a truck to come in at all. lately that if you like the video go ahead and like it and if you haven't yet go ahead and subscribe to the channel I think we're going places and I think it is getting better and right there trucking with Schmidt vlogs it's a Facebook group go ahead and send a request or accept you man it's been a long day <laughs> a little bit over 700 miles again for day number two so Tomorrow should be a little bit better. We're here, we're gonna get unloaded, hopefully. Our appointment time isn't until seven o'clock tomorrow morning, but they said they might be able to fit me in. And as you can see, they gave me a door. That's a step closer. I'm gonna climb up in the truck and go to bed though. I'm gonna take advantage of that step closer. Well, we did make it through the gorge during daylight hours for the most part. You guys did miss a little bit. Uh, Black Mountain, you guys did miss that because it was just pitch black out by that point. Uh, let's think here. I covered why I wear that arm thing. It's a stupid thing, isn't it? But it's it's just something I do, and the sock just helps it. What, what can I say? That's, that's what I use. I talked to my grandma today. She sounded kind of rough. She'll pull through it. She always pulls through it got a little bit of pneumonia in her left lung. Just don't like her in the hospital. I wish she was at home, not in the hospital or around. Well, you know what, she's around. But give her about five, ten days, she'll be back up and spunky. That's how grandma rolls, always has, always will. Guys, I hope you're happy a little bit. Try to stay happy. Yeah, you know what? Let's start that over. Guys, be happy. Stay healthy. And be safe. And I'll see you tomorrow.